Exactly three years ago, I walked to roughly this area to try and talk to some of the striking workers at the Lunman Platinum Mine. There were hundreds of them on and around this place they call the Marikana Mountain. Emotions were running high and the men appeared to be desperate to make their anger felt. All heavily armed with machetes, sticks and spears. As I tried to walk towards them, some on the mountain indicated that I dare not come any closer. I took a few more steps until I felt the tension and potential danger and stopped somewhere over here. There were also heavily armed police in vehicles everywhere around this area and a sense of fear, frustration and distrust hung in the air between the strikers and the police. It was the 15th of August 2012 the day before the Marikana massacre, which still haunts most people here. I remember everything just as if it's happening now. The killings in the mountain during the 2012 uh, strike. And my father was also on strike that day. I was asking myself, where is my father? I couldn't think clearly because I was confused. You see that in your ears, do, like do, 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 you know? mm. That day, to me, it doesn't fade. Even if I'm sleeping, that day is coming to me. I can't, I can't just say everything is well, there, not, there is nothing well. But despite their trauma, these women of Marikana have joined hands with Lanman to try and improve the lot of their community. They are studying for a one-year course in ECD or early childhood development so they can eventually start building creches in their community. A representative of Lanman Management I spoke to said the company was committed to building and cementing relationships with the people who worked and lived here. He said many of the victims' widows now worked above and underground and lived in proper mine-owned residences. And he said the early childhood development program was crucial for the new generation of kids in Marikana. I think from Lonman's perspective, uh, we can join everybody that says whatever that happened uh, in, in 2012 is, it was just an unfortunate situation. Uh, and what we have learned is basically there were gaps in terms of relationships. And Lonman's participation on ECD is very immense. And if people can come uh, and look at what work are we doing, we are working with government and, and even communities to ensure that we do the right things. And the participants of kids in these ECDs for us are, is critical so that I think we are able to build the, the future that one can be able, happy with. These women attend classes twice a week, every fortnight. And they are proud that they could soon become teachers in their community. I learned that every child has a right. We must teach our children in the young age. They have a right. It felt so good. I experienced a lot of things like how we can teach our young children not to be violent. We appreciated what we, we've got at the moment. We still need to to get more from the Lonmin because it is nearby the people. Lonmin's company motto is, we dig to build. But according to the expectations of people here, both Lonmin and the government would have to dig really deep before they could have the kind of healing and reconciliation that people here say they long for. They want a permanent memorial built for those who died. But three years down the line, they are still waiting. Renard Alcam, CCTV, Marikana, in South Africa's Northwest Province.